It's Bible Story Time! Hi, Level 2! To start, let us put our hands together and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, children! How are you? Okay! Last time, we learned about the story of Palm Sunday, the Last Supper, and Jesus' Crucifixion. This week, in our week 32, the last week of our class, we will learn the story of Easter. But before that, I have here some words and I want you to help me to read it, okay? Jesus. 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 Mary. Mary, Mary, tomb, tomb, tomb. Last one, risen, risen, again, risen. Thank you so much, children, for following teacher. Now, I have here an action song and I want you to follow it, okay? Sunday, Mary Magdalene and few other women came to the tomb where Jesus was buried. They hadn't been able to prepare Jesus' body for burial because of the Sabbath, and now that it was over, they could put their offerings of oils and perfumes on him. When they left town to go to Jesus' tomb, the women wondered about how they would move the heavy stone from the opening of the tomb. But when they reached the tomb, they were amazed. The stone had already been moved. The women rushed into the tomb, only to find that Jesus' body 
was nowhere around. They were confused. Suddenly, two men appeared who were dressed in bright white robes. The women were terrified to see them, but the two men, who were angels, said, Why are you looking inside a tomb for someone who is alive? The one you are looking for isn't here. He has risen from the dead. Do you not remember that he told you he would be crucified and come back to life on the third day? The women then remembered Jesus saying that in one of his teachings. Mary Magdalene was standing outside the tomb trying to understand what might have happened. She started crying when she saw a man standing nearby. The man asked her, Why are you crying? Mary said, Sir, please tell where have they taken his body. I will go and get him. Mary. The man gently said, That is when she realized that it was no one else but Jesus. The women along with Mary Magdalene rushed back to town to tell Jesus' disciples that he was alive. The disciples ran to the tomb as fast as they could to see if it was true. Peter ran into the tomb and found the strips of cloth that were used to wrap around Jesus' body were lying neatly folded. For this week's memory verse, it says, He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. From Matthew chapter 28, verse 6. Hello children, I'm back. How was the story? Mm. That was the Jesus story of Easter. He is risen from the dead. And now, are you ready for my questions? Mm. Where was Jesus buried? In a tomb okay later when jesus's friends came to the tomb was jesus inside no he was not there why was jesus's body not in the tomb because he already is yes because jesus is Reason from the dead. Last one. What day did Jesus rise from the dead? Oh, it was Easter Sunday. Okay, thank you so much, children. Since this will be our last lesson, I hope You've learned a lot about Jesus' life and from the Old Testament. I hope you enjoyed the RBE lessons and our crafts and coloring as well. Okay, thank you so much, children. See you next time. Bye! So now to end, let us all put our hands together and let us sing the hymn to the Most Sacred Heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heart of Jesus, meek and mild, hear, oh hear, thy
glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All the angels and saints in heaven, pray for us and protect us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, children! Thank you so much for listening. See you next time!